I'm a mighty Spartan. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to Command Wolf Gaming. I'm CWG, and welcome to the Renaissance campaign here on Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And as you can see, we're facing off against, uh, well, um, what was it the Ancients? So we kind of have a big issue here, and it's these ballista right there. These guys are here. This guy's straddling his ballista like it's a horse. Um, and the reason why I say they're big is because the issue is that they're very powerful. Ballistas are actually astronomically powerful in comparison to any other uh, siege weapon. It's mainly because they have the power of picking off a single unit at a distance with no issues. So um, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put some musketeers here. Right, then I'm gonna put. Uh, a, oh, I can only do one jaster though. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do jasters. <clears throat> so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two help. You know what? Not help riders. Uh, we'll put fencers. Right in the line back here, and then we can do a couple painters as well because painters are cheap and efficient. Yeah, that's right. You painters do your work. All right, so we got the musketeers right here on the first uh, front line, right? Then we got the painters and fencers in the back. So let's see how that goes. So the musketeers did a good first shot, you know, took a couple people out here and there. I think uh, a couple of the guys did get taken out by archers, though. Uh, here comes our fencers and painters. They're moving in. And our musketeers are retarded because they just fell off the roofs. Which they should just stay ooh, uh, stationed up there. And we got a defeat. Shaka! Alright. So, I gotta say, it. I, I keep saying that, uh, you know, um, the Renaissance is actually the most overpowered troops. And I still believe they are the most overpowered troops. I just feel that, you know, when you're dealing with a limited amount of cash on hand... Right, they they they're not that overpowered anymore because you only can use certain amount. Ooh. okay, okay, guys, stop, stop firing, stop, stop. Okay, reload quickly, reload. Come on, guys, there you go. <laughs> That's how muskets are supposed to be fired, just willy nilly all over the place. Okay, I'm gonna move this. Guy. Okay, I'm gonna take some hidden action over here. Okay, we just got the archers. Okay, oh, maybe not a good idea. Did I get these guys stuck over here? I don't really like to. <laughs> that was a perfect time in this guy's spot. Okay, how about instead of the musketeers, we'll do uh, the balloon archers? Because we know the balloon archers are actually pretty cool. Um, especially when it comes to, you know, making people fly. Fly like an eagle. Um, oh, um, uh, so I've actually been trying to stream a movie. I wanted to talk about this real quick, um, to my Valve Index, uh, headset. Now I'm using a program called Big Screen, uh, uh, whatever, Big Screen, whatever. Uh, anyway. So the whole thing with big screen is that it takes um, the information from your desktop and it transmits it to the headset on a bigger screen. So you can have like a home cinema uh, VR experience or something of the equivalent. All right. But here's the catcher. Here's the catch 22 that if the uh, movie is uh, DVD protected or like HD protected you cannot watch that movie it'll quite literally stream the audio but not the video content which is actually astronomically stupid to me because you know what's the point of having the program in the first place granted you can use it uh, on a much larger scale right um, if you can't be watching like movies or something on a big scale because me, the reason why I have it is to actually watch movies and stuff. Uh, there are certain programs you can get around it with, like Netflix, uh, right? You can go to the de not the desktop application, honestly. You can go to, uh, whatchamacallit, um, the online portion, and you can, you, you can do the online portion, and it works. So, but other than that, um, 
if you wanted to stream a movie right using a rented version on uh through the microsoft store you can't do it it just won't allow you to do it and it's again it's that copyright protection services which is actually kind of disappointing uh but on the other hand though they have gotten some applications onto this uh, program the big screen uh application that you can use um to supplement for this so basically the uh the company said okay yeah you can you can use this no no problem no problem whatsoever so yeah but um one of them being honestly you can watch youtube on the system without any issues so we're just gonna try that we're gonna try a combination there so okay uh yep so it's just very disappointing i was trying to watch this movie that i've been actually trying to watch for a couple of months now or ever since it came out it's called alita battle angel right and it's about like it's kind of like an anime style of movie well live action movie where um it, it's this girl she's a robot right and uh, what happened is she's found in the junkyard and she's brought back together right uh which made uh w when she didn't know she was like a battle style unit she was uh well being raised as a normal girl or somewhat uh along those lines like an um are we gonna win oh don't tell me we're gonna win this uh or something along those lines but, but i've been I interested in actually watching it I, I like to watch anime and stuff like that so this is one of the interesting more interesting to, things to watch Ooh, we won that <laughs> uh goes to show if you're not paying attention you can always easily win a match <laughs> Um, yeah, so I've been trying, oh, so I was trying to watch that all weekend, and it's actually, I find it disappointing because it's just like, I really, really want to watch it, you know, it's one of those movies that I really wanted to watch, and I still want to watch, but I just wanted to, I wanted to watch in VR, so to see on a huge screen, right, but, uh, I don't think I'm going to get that opportunity to, unless I just watch it normally, like, you know, put it up on my t TV, my TV's pretty big as is, so, uh, but, yeah, I was trying to watch in VR. So, my disappointment on the... I gotta say, on both Microsoft's end and the application end, because Microsoft, it's always trying to lock things down. It's cool that you can, um... Whatchamacallit? You can, uh, go and, like, watch... Like, I rented the movie, so I can watch it on my Xbox or even on, um my computer but it even has trouble if i try to cast it from my computer to uh, my tv right and when i say cast i mean it literally streams the computer information to the tv wirelessly you know so you don't have to um you don't have to uh have a wire connected to so it's just kind of like annoying when you try to go and do uh do something like that so i, I consider it more of a microsoft end right because they don't really have that open store like some other companies right or a way to work around it um like i even was it uh the one i was trying to find their s streaming services to use but it kept on bringing me back to uh more of their like business side and i'm like what what are you talking about i don't want to see the business aspect of this i want to see i want to be able to stream from uh the the movie from a uh not the computer but from an um uh, website you know because it, like if i'm at home and i wanted to watch a movie or want to watch an episode or something did i really have to like really use um you know their applic uh their application all in all all right so let's try the tanks I don't know if that guy's dead or okay. all right well that didn't work out so it's just like it's annoying <laughs> if you guys know how to make that uh, make a workaround like uh, that would actually work so i can watch movies on my vr headset uh you 
either using the Microsoft Store or something else, you know, let me know. Let me know down in the comment section. I'm trying to, I'm trying to break the system here because I figured out Netflix. I can figure out Netflix. I can't figure out the Microsoft Store. Um, well, my only other thing I could probably do is actually go through uh, the Apple Store, but I think they still have that like copyright protection nonsense going on, which I can understand on uh, you know company side of things. So, ooh. okay. Ooh, ooh that hurts. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. So, this is a little hard. Maybe I should just do a whole bunch of jousters. One. We'll do some jousters and we'll do, like, two fencers, actually. We'll do, like, a fencer all the way over here and all the way over here. And there goes our jousters. Smashed to the front line. Took out a god. or well, two gods. They're continuing through. Uh, the Minotaurs actually held them up a little bit. Okay, so that, <laughs> that's not good. Jousters got taken out. One of our fencers got taken out. Where's the other one? No. Uh, actually, this might be good. Might be good. Come on. Yeah, you can make it through. Oh, God. No. Ah! <laughs> that didn't work out. <laughs> All right, so maybe we should I got to focus more on the battle unless I'm talking unless Okay, so we know the Minotaur is charged and obviously um, That the, these guys these these the, the gods uh, throw lightning so it's really uh, Let's see here. Did you guys really? Oh, man This joust is really weak, dude um, okay, Put him all the way back there Focus on just boom. Can I? No, I didn't hit anybody. Can I hit these guys from this side? I don't know if I'm hitting these guys or if I'm just brushing by them. Like, oh my god, no, no, no. <laughs> Dang, this is hard doing the jouster. Okay. Ah, uh, oh, come on. Seriously, what? One hit on this guy and he's insta dead. How is that? How is that even possible? All right, let's let's we'll just throw a bunch of painters over there. And I have no control over this horse whatsoever. Quite literally, no control whatsoever. Oh god, that worked. I took out some of them. Oh, he got stabbed in the back. Okay, uh, you know what? Is there anything? All right. I am going to do this unfairly and annoyingly. Uh, so I'm going to do a painter right over here. And then we're going to go like this. And we're going to go, hello, and, oh, God. Yes. Yes. No. <laughs> okay. That's, so that's not going to work. Uh, can we do, like, a guy? Oh, God. Please. Please tell me we can. Please tell me we can. No, we can't. Dang it. Oh, we could do one there, though. <gasps> no! Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> oh, he's barely clinging on, though. Wait a minute. Can I do this? I can do... Wait, do the wall. Let's do the wall. Okay. So I'm just going to stay here on this wall. I'm going to really kind of cling to it a little bit. Oh! Oh! You hit me! Okay. Um. Maybe not the wall. Maybe we should just, I don't know. This is this is getting hard to determine what we should be do, doing, honestly. Because uh, this is getting harder, man. I just don't know what to do anymore. Okay. Okay, see, I know, now I know, I know the reason why now they're jumping off the wall, right? Or off their safe place, because they cannot aim down because once they aim down it automatically reflects back up wow um i wasted a lot of time on this map um quite literally a halberder is one of the more expensive units dang it um All right, we're gonna try the impossible. We're just gonna try fencers on this side. Then we'll try 
three musketeers on that side. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so the musketeers did certainly take out a few people. Now the fencers, I'm kind of worried about. They do have that dodge maneuver where they kind of like dodge in then dodge out, you know? So I don't know how that works. Uh, how good that works though. Let's move those musketeers back because they got to get a little bit more room on there. All right. Okay, so the fencers... Oh my god, the fencers got taken out like nobody's business. Um, let's see. Yeah, we'll do that. That's fine. Am I really supposed to be just using musketeers on this map? Like, that would make the most sense, right? Because they have the distance. Especially since the, the Sarasa have a tremendous amount of distance. And they supposedly one shot people um hmm we can try that we can try the two prong right we have the one set attacking the one side and the other set attacking the other side three three and three musketeers right as in the three musketeers come on guys fire of course you missed every shot except for one. Oh man getting a crick in my neck um i feel like we just gotta go like this right and hopefully they can reload fast enough to take out these guys come on guys 10 seconds reload fire fire of course the guys who are ready to fire oh my god Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Come on, guys. You can do it. Come on. Yes. Staggered fire. That's what I want. Staggered fire. Come on, guys. You can do it. Yes. Scream. Scream your hearts are off. Okay. Come on. One more volley, guys. Come on. One more volley. You can do it. Come on. Don't waste you. Oh, we got a Cyclops on the enemy team. Oh, come on. No. Okay, that's good. Oh, back up, back up, back up, back up. Ah, I should have just moved into him. Oh, okay. So the twin volley is definitely. Let's try to do this. Okay, so now we got. We can do th up to three volleys because then we go two, two, and two, right? Even though it'll take them a bit of time to reload. Because, for some reason, these guys want to be retarded. Okay. Okay, good. Just back up a bit, buddy. Oh, well, this time it didn't work out. It's, it didn't work out this time. Oh, okay. Um, Maybe stage them out a little bit more. Like so. Maybe that'll work. Oh, I think we have a winner here, folks. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, dear. This is going to be bad. Yep. There you go. All right, so it seems like we had the most success if we did one, two, three, and then one, two, three. And it gives uh, the second line gets some time to actually uh, fire and reload. While the first line is firing and reloading. So, and boom. There we go. Oh, oh, I think we got it, guys. I think we got it. I said I think. I don't know. Seems like the Saras is still beating us a little bit. Come on, guys. You can do it. Oh. Oh, yes! Oh, my God. You guys have no idea how long that took me. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Okay, we're into the Norse lands. And I'm... Seriously, I'm only giving 50 uh, painters. I'm only giving painters for this. Maybe it's just to bait out these guys. All right. Let's see how the musketeers do. You guys waste your shots. 
all the time. These guys are shooting at nothing. But this is why they call me Wibbly Wobby uh, Comet, you know? Okay, good, 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 good. You guys are doing good. This is what I call a musket line. Very terrible looking musket line, but you guys can do it. Wow, those jars are bulletproof. <laughs> like, look at that. Like, how many shots did this one guy take? <laughs> like, four, five, six? Oh. And I just realized I counted that off. Yes, I know. Um, all right, so we're going to try this. Wait a minute. How many musketeers can we do? Only seven. So maybe it's best to do like three on this side, then three on this side, right? Or four on this side. Because this is the only thing I could do. I can only use the musketeers. Come on, guys. I saw that coming. I saw that coming. So maybe we got to stagger them. Like so. Okay, I think that's a little better. When I say a little better, I mean like quite literally a little bit better. Maybe not. Okay, I feel like we got to back these guys up. Here we go. Since we can only use mus musketeers. These musketeers have like really, really long range too. So like when they're spending their ammo, they're spending their ammo at long range for the same exact target another musketeer is taking down. And it's actually quite annoying to see it like that because I don't want that. I want to see the second line to hold, right? Then when they have determined right that the first line is empty and it's probably gonna die they'll fire like this guy right here why'd you fire you wasted your ammo there we go oh not worried about that side as much as this side now because as soon as the valkyrie dives they they're pretty much they're faster and this Oh my god, poor Valkyrie. He oh, right. So they are allowing me to use a full complement of people. You know what? Let's put a couple of the guys there and a couple of the guys there. Right? Because that'll probably get annoying. And we'll do, you know, we'll just do a whole bunch of uh, balloon archers. Because we know that the balloon archers are fun to watch. Especially when the guys go flying. Like, oh my god, look at all the berserkers. They're flying! They're flying! Um. Oh, whoa. Okay. Raining bodies. This ain't good. This ain't good. They're tearing apart our lines! No! Okay, that, that was a good workout. That was just a joke one. But this ain't no joke. The tank. There may be a couple of musketeers in the basket line. There we go. Go, my trusty tank. Take majority of them out by swinging them around like a maniac. Oop, there goes our tank. But I gotta say, I think a lot of them... Oh, I was gonna say a lot of them are dead, but that's actually a false information there. So how about, instead of the musketeers, we'll do... The balloon archers, and we'll do two painters. Because why not? So... Okay. Oh, lag. Lag. Okay, come on. I honestly don't know what is going on. I am literally cannot move this. I mean, like, I could not move it to begin with, but, you know, just theoretically, I could not. You, you, can, just go. Go. Fly away. Fly away. You're already dead. Oh, God. No. Ah! There's still so many left. Okay, that didn't work out. Um, let's see here. 
We could do balloon archers. We could do. How about the halberders? Right? Now, I feel like the halberders do have a bit of a disadvantage because they are heavy units. Um, start. That didn't work out. Like, it takes, a, I guess, a second or two in order for the tank to really start getting ramped up. Right? And then, all of a sudden, it's just, like, it's stuck. It's just, like, look at this. I'm hitting this, I'm hitting this space bar. And it does like, it doesn't want to turn. I don't know if that's, like, because it's a delayed reaction. Or if it's supposed to be a delayed reaction. Or what. So, let's move... Okay. Well, that's done. I don't think I actually did anything. I think I just pissed them off. Okay. Oh, our Halbrothers are still alive. The two Halbrothers are still alive. Oh, no. Now they're dead. Okay, maybe, uh... <laughs> maybe just sacrifice a couple of, uh... Painters here. Right? Then we can get, uh... I don't know. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know what I'm doing anymore, guys. I'm just kind of like throwing units at things and hopefully making something stick. So. Okay. All right. It's going. It's doing good. We're doing good. Oh, okay. The fencers are in there. Oh, uh, the cowbirders are somewhere. Yep, they're there. Oh, okay. Balloon archers are doing good so far. So far, they're doing good. They're still alive. Cowbirders are still alive. It's just the jar that's going to be a pain in the butt, ain't it? Um. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, we slowed him up. He slowed up, boys. Keep hitting him. Keep hitting him. Okay. He—he's kind of flying. Is he dead? I don't know. Oh. He became a balloon pin cushion. <laughs> All right, guys. With that being said, we finished up the ancient. We finished up the. Uh, what is it called? The Vikings and the only ones that are left to face against us is the Dynasty. The Dynasty, the one of the more fun factions that I like to play with, especially with their uh, archers. And anyway, is that a samurai elite or samurai general? Why do they have a secret unit? You know, you know what? Never mind. I, I don't want to know. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in today here on Command Wolf Gaming. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the footage. I, well, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in today here on Command Wolf Gaming. Hope you enjoyed the footage. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave them down below in the comment section. I want to hear from you guys. And as always, folks, like, subscribe, and share. Spread the love. And hope to see you next time here on Command Wolf Gaming. Now, now keep, keep your, your hand, hand off that, that mouse, mouse folks. folks. We, we have, have so, so much more fun and exciting content on this channel that, that you guys and guys are missing out on that it's not funny. funny. So, so all you have to do is hit the big red subscribe button right down below this video. Also remember to hit the bell notification button. You can't miss it. It looks like the Taco Bell bell just without any color. And with doing that, you are officially subscribed to my channel, Commander Wolf Gaming, and will receive notifications on when new material is up on my channel for you guys and guys to view and enjoy. If you like what we are doing, Hit the thumbs up button, if not hit the thumbs down button, but remember to always leave a comment or a suggestion down below in the comment section. I want to know what you think, and I want to hear what you guys and gals want to see in the gameplay, but as always folks, like, subscribe, share, and spread the love, and I hope to see you guys next time here on Command Wolf Gaming.